Welcome into our overtime segment. Thanks for joining us on SportsSource.tv. This segment brought to you by Jinx Logos. We tell you about them every week. Uh, you see their number right there. Folks, if you have a, a business and you're wanting to promote it, give them a call. We've shown you the stuff that they can do for area high schools. They can do it for your business, too. Like right here for Nova Copy. They did those mugs. Uh, Jinx Logos, they are tremendous. All right. Overtime this week, I want to discuss what are the most likely topics we're going to hear at SEC Media Days. And I'll give you some choices here. The, <laughs> uh, the autonomy push in a possible Division Four, the new college football playoff, or hype for the SEC Network. Whoa. What will be the most discussed, what will you hear more of this week on ESPN? I think Mike Slav is kind of like drawing a line in the sand as far as an August time frame to decide something. Well, the NCAA the, voted in August, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, to me, that's the, that's the, the huge issue. And, and he came out and said that, and so now it's going to be, what's the next step? What's the next shoe to fall? Yeah, I want to see, he, in his opening address, I want to see how far he goes. He mentioned the whole Division Four thing, specifically at the SEC meetings in Destin uh, earlier this spring. That was, that was a pretty big bomb to drop. <laughs> Will he mention that again uh, in his State of the Conference address, which opens everything on Monday? Um, autonomy push, new college football playoff, or SEC Network? I almost agree with Chuck, but I'm going to go SEC Network because the people down there covering the media days or the people who are going to have the SEC network. Yep. So by golly, you're going to make the SEC network as they're sitting there trying to settle these deals to get it in yep. as many different systems and everything as they can. Push, 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 because the guy sitting at home is going to go, wait, wait a minute. I don't get SEC network on whatever it is my provider is. Uh -huh. I'm going to call them. I'm going to do this. So I think the real news is what Chuck's talking about. And I think the playoff is bigger news. I think SEC media network is going to get the hype. I agree with you. I think uh, I think Chuck has the bigger the bigger issue, and I think there's going to be a lot of talk about the playoff too. I think a lot of people will be asking. All these coaches are going to be asked about it, and who's on the panel and that kind of stuff. But I, I just think you're going to hear hype for the SEC Network well, all I mean, week and, long. And what UT's first two games are on an yeah. SEC Network that yeah. a lot of fans in this area don't have exactly that that provider. And yeah. I also say too, though, with the power Mike Slive has. If the SEC does say something, you're going to have the domino effect. Oh that yeah! So many other conferences are going to be falling in right in line. Each summer, it's it's almost like clockwork, and I think in some degrees, these Power Five commissioners now it used to be six commissioners. Now it's the Power Five. I think they get on the same page and they know what they want to do. So Slive kind of opens the door, and then Jim Delaney of the Big mm -hmm. Ten follows, right. walks right through it. Dan, uh, uh, Bob Bowlesby with the Big Twelve, then follows suit. Larry Scott. So I think Slive is going to kick it off, and you're right. And then we'll see how everybody else follows up. But I doubt you'll have Slive go one way and everybody else go this way, or vice versa. Uh, well, go ahead. Oh, go I was ahead. just going to say a lot of the people down there covering this thing now. Let's just say they're kind of like oh, pseudo journalists. They're not. You get a lot Real of fans journal. to get in now. Yeah, they're, they're that's there for the reason own. SEC Network's also going to be big because that's going to strike a lot of these guys as the most important thing because they don't get it at their house, and so it's going to keep coming up and coming up and coming up. Although they are getting, they're making good progress with the SEC Network. I would anticipate they get everybody uh, on board. Time Warner still maybe, but I think they're going to get Direct TV. It's just going to go down to the wire as these things normally right. do. But I think they're, they'll wind up getting them all on there. Uh, what's more likely? Nick Saban and Brett Bielema get dragged into up-tempo offense talk again. What do you think about up-tempo? Is it yeah. dangerous? Or Les Miles gets dragged into discussing LSU having a permanent game of Florida again. <laughs> or Steve Spurrier on his own needling Mike Slive. This has become a, a regular thing, too. All of these happen every year. Steve, Mike Slive has an opening you know, commissioner State of the Union deal on yeah. Monday. Spurrier then comes out and addresses half the topics that Slive does and tells you how why Slive was wrong. Um, <laughs> so is it going to be Spur? What's more likely? Spur your needle slive. LSU's Les Miles complains about playing Florida. Nick Saban and Brett Bielema get mad talking about up tempo offenses. Spur. It's a hundred percent. Hundred percent chance of Spurrier on this one. Yes. It, it, it's funny. What you agree? Yes. Yes. What's been funny is you go back to. I guess it was the year they finished seven and six, lost in the whatever they called it at the time, Birmingham Bowl uh, to Connecticut. Got shut out for got got beat twenty one to three or something bad like that. Spurrier at Media Days uh, wrote this on MrSEC.com at the time. He looked like somebody had just run over his dog. I mean, the guy was just had no personality, no flair. Since he started winning again, 
his his mouth yeah. has just yeah. come back to life. So yeah, I think he takes pleasure in needling Mike's live. I would agree. That's probably the guarantee for the week. Uh, you can follow SEC Media Days at MrSEC.com. And of course, we'll talk about it next week on the Sports Source Football Seasons here. Thanks for joining us. See you next Sunday at 11 a.m. WATE6 for the Sports Source. See you then.